Hi, this is Beastly Eel with Eel Talk, Episode 6. Now today, we're going to be talking about WandaVision Episode 6. Now this episode hits you really in the feels um, <clears throat> for a lot of things. And what we see... Why? Well, before I start that, if you have not seen the episode, please pause the video, watch the episode, and then come back, and we'll discuss. Just like all my videos, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about the overall episode as a whole, and then talk about some plot things that could potentially be in the future because of what we saw. So the opening credits are very Malcolm in the Middle vibey, um, and looks like we're skipping the 90s and we're going straight to 2000s. Um, Malcolm in the Middle started in exactly 2000, so it looks like we're skipping to that. Um, once the episode actually opens, we see Billy and Tommy trying to figure out what their uncle is. Because, you know, why is he here? Who is he? Blah, 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 all that stuff. Anyway, Pedro is sleeping. <laughs> And he hears the kids talking as if, because um, they're thinking he's like some sort of vampire, because he sleeps all day. Um, that's when we really see that his powers are still active, because he starts zooming around to scare the kids, you know, making them jump and everything else. And he's really zooming all over the place to mess with them. Wanda doesn't like the noise, and she comes down, and she's in a costume that is very similar to her classic costume in the comic books. Now, granted. It is very costumey, um, meaning like it definitely looks like a fake costume, but it's meant to be because it's Halloween and we have to get ready for that. So we have Wanda come down with that to kind of figure out what the whole problem is and they're continuing to zoom around. And Vision comes down <laughs> and he's dressed up like his classic costume from the comics. Again, fake as all heck, but nice to see. Um, Vision's talking about how he's not going to be there for the kids' first Halloween. He's going to be on the neighborhood watch. Wanda's not happy with it, but she's allowing it. Um, which makes this question a little bit, is she fully in control? But not the point. So, the... The kids are getting ready, and when they get dressed, and so does Uncle Pedro, they all look like their classic comic book characters from the comics. So Billy looking like Whiskin, and Tommy looking like Speed, who is basically just an imitation of his uncle, Quicksilver. So they agreed to go out. So... Um, that scene ends, and we go outside of Westfield, and we see S.W.O.R.D., and the FBI agent, Darcy, and Monica are not happy with how S.W.O.R.D. was dealing with the issue, and how he was going to try to, well, kill Wanda, and it failed. The scene starts, though, with them bringing in the missile, still radiating red energy from when Wanda messed with it. But anyway, they bring it in, they're talking, and the head of sword is not happy. And Monica's really trying to make a point that Wanda doesn't need to be killed. She's dealing with something. She's dealing with, even though she doesn't actually say it, it's implied that she's dealing with a lot of grief which shouldn't be that big of a shock since she watched her husband or boyfriend, I don't know what their title is, before this show, um, die twice in front of her. Definitely the person she loved twice, die in front of her. And she has to live with the fact that he's still not alive. Anyway, so <laughs> they continue talking about it, and he really insults Monica. And it doesn't end well because they get kicked out. The three of them. The FBI agent, Darcy, and Monica. So they leave and the rest of them are trying to figure out what they're going to do to deal with 
the Wanda situation. So outside, the FBI agent and Monica knock out all the agents that were holding them down and beat them up. And Darcy's like, oh, I didn't know the plan. So they sneak into a part of the base and they start going through files and trying to figure out everything they can on, on this stuff. Head back inside. <clears throat> so inside, it's Halloween. And Monica and the kids and Pedro are all trick-or-treating. So they're going through, kind of figuring out what's going on, blah, 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 blah. Um, the kids are trick-or-treating and everything. And it turns out Uncle Pedro is causing a lot of issues, um, smashing jack-o'-lanterns, silly stringing kids, blah, 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 all that stuff. And Monica goes, oh, well, I guess you're going to have to have Vision take care of this to Herb. And Herb goes, why? Vision's not on today. He's not part of the neighborhood watch tonight. And Monica's not happy with that comment, but not quite aware of what's going on. So the night continues on. And while this is going on, we go back outside. And Darcy's hacking sword like you wouldn't believe. Turns out they're tracking vision, and the way they can track vision is by the deteriorating vibranium. Which means, in some sort of capacity, vision's body is decaying whether it be natural or because of Wanda's powers, whatever the reason, his body is radiating and decaying. And whatever energy it's giving off can figure out where he is inside the bubble. And because of that, they can kind of see where all the people are. And what they notice is the people who are further out towards the edge aren't doing much of anything. Very con concerning to them. So, Monica and the FBI agent are ready to go inside, and Darcy is not thrilled with it. And she tells Monica not to go in. And Monica, uh, Monica's like, why not? And Darcy hacked the records of, her, of Monica's health records, showing that her cells had been manipulated and changed at a cellular level, and possibly even at a molecular level, even, you know, as far down as it can be and telling her that she might not survive if she goes in again. Monica didn't seem phased by it, but was ready to go in. Darcy said she'd stay behind because she wants to un, uh, figure out one last thing. That sword is trying to hide and she hasn't been able to figure it out yet. So she, can, she continues to hack and the other two disappear. So now we go back inside. Vision is walking around the outskirts of town and he sees the further out people kind of there's one woman who is actually looking like she's trying to hang a Halloween decoration and she's just stuck in a loop and she starts to cry. Um, Vision clearly knows that Wanda's doing all of this and there's nothing he can do. So then he sees Agnes. First time we've seen her other than the opening credits. Um, She's in her car at the edge, or what we think is the edge. So Vision's trying to talk to her, and she's like, I'm trying to find the square, town square, and I think I got lost. And Vision's kind of like in your own town. And uh, so he does his, ooh, not, not really voodoo magic. He just does his powers, and he brings her back into the light, and she goes, she realizes where she is and everything, and everything's starting to come back to her. And she recognizes Vision going, oh my gosh, the Avengers, are they here? Are you here to help me? And he goes, I'm here to help you, but um, I don't know what the Avengers are. And she's like, am I dead? And he goes, no, why do you think you would be dead? And she goes, because you're dead. I'm dead. And she's like, yes, you're dead. And that's when she starts to lose it mentally because she starts laughing going we're all doomed we're never going to get out of here blah 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 and she starts freaking out but not she was more laughing which kind of scared should terrify people um but it was more like a witch's cackle now granted she's dressed as a witch 
because it's Halloween, but uh, definitely weird. Vision puts her back to, I don't want to say normal, but back to Wanda's control. And she does a U-turn and goes away. So Vision then goes to an area where nobody's moving at all. Everyone's frozen. And he flies up and goes towards the edge. The edge of it all. So anyway, he figures out that that's the edge. Darcy realizes that Vision's getting close to the edge, and so does the sword agents. So they all come running out. Waiting to see what happens. Back to the main area, I guess you'd say, where Wanda is. The kids are starting to show powers. Tommy has super speed, like his uncle, and like the comics. <laughs> Speeding all around. Wanda's trying to explain to him to, you know, slow down and stop doing that. Um, she tells him to take his brother with him, and he wasn't happy with it, but they start zooming around. Billy cannot zoom around. He has to be holding his brother's hand to be doing it, just so you're aware. This is where Wanda and Pedro start talking. And Wanda's not believing that this is her brother, because she's been asking him a lot of questions about their past, and he's like, what, do you not believe me? Do you not trust me, your own brother? And she's trying to figure out what's going on, and he's like, he's like, hey, you know, I thought you were in trouble, and I came. That's how he puts it. Um, and then he starts acting very strange. Um, he's like, Wanda, how are you doing this all? Like, are those kids, like, actually yours? Like, how did you do it? Did you just take them out from somebody's family? He goes, and everybody else, and they kind of give them better personalities, better jobs, so they're, like, better in overall. And he's like, well, how do you do it? And showing that he knows kind of pretty much what's going on. And Wanda is probably the most honest we've seen her. Goes, I actually don't know. She doesn't know how she's doing it. And she goes, I think, I think I just felt so bad and so alone. And then this happened. Um, and then she looks at her brother, and he looks like a dead corpse, bullet holes all over him, but still looking like the X-Men Quicksilver, not her real brother from the movies. So she starts to freak out. He's like, what's the matter? She's like, N no nothing, nothing. She tries to, like, get rid of it. So now Vision's trying to break through the barrier. I know. It jumps around. Sorry. So Vision starts to break through. As he's breaking through, I don't know if it's Wanda's power or just the boundary in general. As he breaks through, pieces of him are breaking apart to get back inside. And everyone's just watching this happen. Darcy runs out. and She's like, no, you gotta help him. You gotta help him. Can't you see he's dying? And they chain up, or handcuff, sorry, Darcy to a, to one of the trucks um, to keep her out of the way. And they all watch as Vision's literally falling apart. As this is all going on, inside the dome, whatever you want to call it, Billy stops his brother with magic. Now, we don't know it's magic, but if he has the same powers as his comic book person, it's magic. Stops his brother and goes... Dad's in trouble. And the two of them run to mom, Wanda. And they tell her, he tells her, Mom, Dad, Dad's in trouble. He's surrounded by, he's surrounded by people with guns and, and, and they think he's dying. And Pedro goes, what's the harm? It's not like you can kill, kill have your husband die a third time. And she's not happy with that comment. And she blasts Pedro back and he gets slammed into hay barrels and everything else well away from them. And she goes, I need you to focus on your father. And he tells her um, where he sees him, kind of. So her eyes go bright red, or magic red, whatever you want to call it. And everybody freezes, except for her two kids. I can only imagine also her brother, but we don't know that for a fact. And now the port, uh, not the portal, the walls 
or the barrier of the dome expand, start to go out. And everyone from Sword starts freaking out and start running. The barrier was trying to get Vision back inside, so it expands and expands and expands. As this is happening, everyone who goes in, except for Vision, Vision gets put back together when he goes through the, uh, the barrier. Everybody else gets transferred into a carnival-like scenario. All of the sword base and everything else is carnival. Darcy, because she's handcuffed to the truck, gets pushed in too, but we don't see what happens to her. Um, we would, I would have to assume that she's in some sort of carnival-esque world now, but we don't know that for a fact. And the walls keep coming. Now we see the FBI agent and Monica driving and trying to get out of there as quickly as possible because the barrier's expanding. Most of S.W.O.R.D. gets captured except for the leader and I think it was three other agents in his vehicle, along with the FBI agent and Monica escaped and the barrier stops and that's the end of the episode <sighs> all right <clears throat> some things to unpack first we're going to talk about her kids her kids have powers <clears throat> and they're the powers exactly like their comic book actually just like their comic book character so they're Pretty much the same. Obviously, their origin's a little bit different, but for the most part, they're the same. Um, which, you know, Tommy more like his uncle Quicksilver, Billy more like his mom. Um, Wanda's powers. I'm going to talk about that now. So Wanda's powers, she's not in full control of them. Even though we kind of see her in control at the very end, I don't know how much she knows how to control it. Um, because she's kind of doing it subconsciously, I would guess. And because of that, that can cause some, a, a lot of problems. I mean, would have tried to explain why her brother didn't come back correctly. Um, the other thing. Uh, her powers don't seem to control superpowered beings as easily as everybody else. Why I say that? Vision, her brother, and what look like her two kids. She cannot completely control them with her powers. Um, they kind of have to go along with everything, but I think they're in much more control than anything else. Agnes. Still thinks she's Agatha Harkinson because she's dressed as a witch, she's got the cackle, and she's trying to escape and she seems to, I don't know, she didn't seem as distressed as I would expect somebody to be when they were released from that power. Still tough to say because it's still on the fence where it's still borderline where she could or she couldn't be. I don't know. It's it's tough. That that could go either way. Um, I think Marvel's purposely playing it off. I don't know. That one... <sighs> some episodes, I feel like it's more evidence towards it. This one, I felt a little less, other than the costume. I, I don't know. <sighs> Vision is dying, or his body's decaying. That's a big, big issue. Um, <clears throat> not quite sure why or how, but it is. Um, very concerning. What else? What else? Oh, Monica. Monica could have very well get superpowers because of all the time she's gone in and out of the barrier. Now, that is interesting. Because in her, in the comic book, she has powers. Similar to Captain Marvel but on a very scaled back um, to power. Like, no, nowhere near as strong, but kind of photon blast type things. So could that possibly be the case? Possibly. If her cells have been manipulated, um, there's the potential that there's a mutation that could cause her to have those powers. Mutation, X-Men. 
just thinking out loud, you know, mutants. Her kids are there. Her brother, who is from the X-Men universe right now, at least that particular brother. So that kind of hints more towards the idea that mutants are going to be existing. Um, other thing. And actually, this is the, the last thing. I'm not quite sure what the head of sword was hiding. But it's something big that he already knows about. So I have no idea. But it's got to be the big plot twist. Um, I think the next episode is going to be carnival based. Shocking. Since the sword facility has basically turned into a carnival. Um, and I'm interested to see where Darcy plays in this. So overall. X-Men or mutants have a possibility of being entered because of Wanda. Um, still multiple dimensions or multiverse because of her brother from the X-Men universe is there. She can't control super beings, so it looks. Wanda isn't in full control of her powers. For most of the episode, we'll see how the next episode begins because she might still not be in full control of it. Um, I think it's still subconscious where she's getting more control over it, but still not completely. And it'd be interesting to see what other Marvel characters present themselves in this entire series. Overall, that's pretty much what I'm going with. I mean, there's only three episodes left. So much can happen in such a short amount of time. But I'm super excited because Marvel is doing a great job with this. So, as always... This is the end of the episode. If you like the content you ha you're seeing right now, please like and subscribe below. And as always, please watch WandaVision on Disney+. This is Beastly Eel signing out.